What is up everybody? This is Steve here with you guys. And as you can see, you are currently looking at more NASCAR diecast cars. I know you have seen my Dale Earnhardt Sr. NASCAR diecast cars. And they're, of course, all over there in the case where I keep all of them. Well, most of them. I do have some that are put away. But just the ones I keep in there in the case that you know that are my favorite. So anyway, here are all my Dale Earnhardt Jr. ones that I have. I am a big fan of Dale Earnhardt Jr. Also a big fan of uh, Jeff Gordon. I do like Kurt Busch. Um, I do like Brad Keselowski. Uh, I do like Joey Logano. Not a big fan of Tony Stewart that much. I don't like Jimmy Johnson. I don't like Kyle Busch. And why? Because Jimmy Johnson wins too, met, too much and Kyle Busch is a crybaby, in my opinion. I do like Casey Kane. And there's a bunch of other ones I like too. Not a big fan of Marcus Ambrose or a few others, but there you go. So these are all my Dale Earnhardt Jr. cars that I have, ranging all the way from the ones they started out with and all the way to like the 88 cars that he has. I don't have any of the ones that he has right, right now that he's driving because I don't really collect some of the newer ones, only like if they're certain ones, maybe. Now I do have some that do not have boxes with them, including these over here. And I have some that are made by Ravel, you know, and a rare one that's over here. And a few of the Nextel Cup ones and some of the Winston Cup ones and, and two of the Sprint ones. So without further ado, I'll show you the ones that I have. Now we're going to start with these over here, like how he got started out. Hold on a sec. Thing was falling out. Let me just start with this one here because this is like one of the ones that he started out, started out with. This one's from 1997, and here it is. It's a 124 scale. The 1997 Sickens Chevrolet Monte Carlo, one of 8,500, and here is the car. This is pretty nice. My pop got this for me at a flea market, and this is the way it is. Car refinishes, that is. Made by Ravel. I have opened this before. The hood and trunk opens, and here's the box as well. It's the way it is. It's in a big box. And once again, it says one of 8,500. Oxo Noble, <laughs> whatever that is. But that's one of them that I had that he started off with. I know he did have Wrangler in the day, but I don't have any of them. I just have the ones like these. And there you go, here's the first. Uh, let's see. I think I'll move on to... I'll just move on to these over here. This one doesn't really have a box. Here's a... Number three, Nilla Wafers one, Nutter Butter. This is from the Bush series. As you can see, it has the thing right there. Yeah, it's, um, there it goes. Um, it's like what he started off with in the Bush series. He did drive the three. Dale Earnhardt, I think, drove the eight in the Bush series when he was doing that. He also raced into I Rock as well with his father, which is, you know, different than NASCAR. Yeah, uh, my pop got these for me. Got this for me on Craigslist, along with another one, which is the three. There, the Oreo one, which we'll show in a second. It didn't come with a box. It was just a guy who was just trying to get rid of them around the Christmas time. So there's one of them. And here is the Oreo one. Now this is also a Bush Series one. This is Oreo and Ritz, also with Nilla wafers and Nutter Butter. And again, Bush Series it says right there. camera focus a little bit there it goes yeah yeah it's a pretty nice car too as well hood and trunk opens just like the other one too even though I didn't really show it yeah it is a pretty nice one I like the color of it now here's another one that I have this is made by Ravel here it is this is a raced version one again Bush series it is a pretty nice car it's got like stuff on it like scraping or whatever or I don't know <laughs> whatever it is and here's the side of it you know with a little uh, trademark thing there like, like a little scrape in there like from another car pretty nice car too got this at a flea market as you say as it says right there race version a picture of him as well pretty nice um see like what this is this is one of 40 
Oops, sorry about that. This is one of 48,236. Not rare or anything. A lot of these remain. There you go. That's them. Now for the next one, I believe... I guess I'll show this one just because it's around this time. Um, I guess. This is actually a rare car right here, and here it is. This is a gold version of this car. The way that this one looks. It's from the Bush series. I had the box as well, made by for race fans only. And here it is. It is one of 2,508 made, as soon as it'll focus. There it goes. Yep. And I'm using my phone for this, just because it works a little bit better with my phone, and it's able to focus as well. Unlike the flip video, it doesn't really focus at all. All right, now the next one, um, I think I'll show this one here. This is going to be next. This one is from 2001. This is the Talladega Win car from October 21st, 2001, the raced version as well. No scraping or anything, but the way this thing is on the top and the back, and also with the flag because of 9-11. I remember the uh, race from Talladega in 2001. It was the EA Sports 500. Very good race, very good win, a scary finish at the end with the big one involving Bobby Labonte and many others, you know, when Bobby Labonte flipped over. Yeah, it was a very good race, I definitely remember that. Yeah, but 2001 was a very sad season for NASCAR, especially what happened to Dale Earnhardt. But still, a lot of great memories, especially when Dale Earnhardt Jr. won the Pepsi 400. And speaking of that, that's what we're going to show because I have two of them. And here is the first one. This is the clean version. This is um, the non-race version. I do have the race version. Here's the car. And the side, the 2001 MLB All-Star Game, which is, of course, Cal Ripken Jr.'s final All-Star Game before he retired. And he was always number eight. And race was just really emotional. Down our Jr. Like, came all the way back from, like, fifth or sixth place and came back and got the win took the lead with like four or three laps to go, which is just amazing. It really was. Yeah. And Michael Waltrip, who won the Daytona 500 in 2001, would finish second in the Pepsi 400, while Dale Jr. got the win, and Dale Jr. finished second in the Daytona 500 in 2001. Yeah. And there you go. There's the car. Now, this is not rare or anything. This is... Total production is 54,000, so yeah. Not rare. But here's the race version that I have. This is a really nice car. It's hard to get the case open. I'm probably not going to open it, but here it is. Monte Carlo as well and some scraping. And on the side as well, as you see. Doesn't affect the value or anything. Race versions are really good to have, which I do like to collect. Yeah, very nice car still. And here's the box as well. <clears throat> Pardon me. Hmm. <clears throat> yeah, from July 7th, 2001. <clears throat> and <clears throat> we're seeing Michael Waltrip right over there and him getting out of the car after winning. Yeah, definitely very memorable. And this is one of 40,008. Yep. And there you go. Sorry, something in my throat there. <clears throat> okay, so next one I'll show will be this one here. This is from 2002. This is just a primary car. Nothing like rare or anything. Hood and trunk opens. I used to have this car back in the day, but I took the tire off of right here, and it completely just you know came off. The whole thing did. You know, really stupid of me to do that, but I didn't know how to take care of cars in that time, but now I do. Pretty nice car, not rare or anything. This is just, this is total production is seventy thousand. So yeah, it's a primary car. Like I said, that's basically all it is. Here's the next one from two thousand three. Just a little bit different than the other one. Yeah, just um, way the logo for Budweiser is. This is another primary car, and two thousand three was the final year when it was called. The Winston Cups, everybody knows before, went to the Nextel Cup. 
Bristol Cup wasn't bad, but I prefer it to be called the Winston Cup still. But it no longer is. Now for I know I do have another one from 2003. Um it's 2005. Um probably this one. This one is the 2003 MLB All-Star Game car. A nice design on it. It was in Chicago. Got this at a flea market as well. Uh, this one, I know it's not rare. It is total production 60,000. 60,000. Come on, focus. 60,456. This takes a little bit of a while to focus. Don't worry about it. Yeah, I know you can see it. There it goes. Yeah. Alright, that's the next one. Now we just move on to the next the next L Cup days. Okay, um, Next one here, now this is from 2004. This is the 2004 Born on Date car. Now this one is a race version as well. You can tell the tires, the way they are, and the way it is. February 15, 2004, the 2004 Daytona 500, and of course, Nextel Cup. I really didn't mind it being called the Nextel Cup. It lasted from 2004 to 2008, or 7, and then it became the Sprint Cup in 2008. It's a pretty nice car, and then more scraping again. It was a great win for him, the 2004 Daytona 500, when he finally won it. Now everybody knows that he has won it twice. He won it this year in 2014. A very great win. He said it was better than the first win. If I ever do get that car, I definitely would and would show it. Yeah. But this is the car that he used when he won it in 2004. There you go. No box, unfortunately, guys. I got that on Craigslist as well. Okay. Um, what should we show next? Now, all of these over here we already shown. Um... I'm just like trying to stay in the years, so we don't really have that much left. But uh, let's just let's just show this one here. It's from 2005. Has the 2004 car is the only one that I have. The rest of them, okay. Well, actually, we should show this one here. This is from 2005, and here it is. This is one of my favorites. This is the 2005 Born on Date car that he raced in 2005 Daytona 500. This is a really nice car. It's not an elite version or anything. It has roof flaps as well, hood and trunk opens. There you go. Got this on eBay for about $38, I think, which is a good price. I like the design on it. It is really, really nice. I like the red and white paint scheme. Paint scheme. Yeah, it's really nice. It really is. As soon as I saw this on eBay, I wanted it immediately. Not rare. It is total production is fourteen thousand three hundred and thirty-two. This takes a little bit of time to focus. There it goes. Yep, and that's just the way it is. Yep, really nice car. And now here's the next one. This is the 2005 All-Star Game car, which is held in Detroit, Detroit, Michigan. Actually, I should have shown uh, this one. Uh, this is the 2004 World Series car. I forgot all about this one. But forgive me for that. From the next Hill Cup days, no box with this or anything. Not rare. I know it's not. But anyway, back to this one. This one has roof flaps, hood and trunk opens, and this one is, total production is 18,360. Yeah, just like that. It's a really nice car, has a nice design, has blue and red. 
I like the way they designed it. Pretty cool car, really gotta say. Mm hmm. Okay. Now there's only a few left, so I think there's only like, uh, how many do we have left? Uh, I think we only got four left. As the rest of these we already showed, and the rest of them they sh that we showed, so just these two and those over there are left. So let's do these. These are from the next tail cup days. Here is the next one now, as you can tell. Yep, that's what this is. This is the 2006 Dale Earnhardt Jr. Black Budweiser Chevrolet. When he colored his car black in honor for his dad, the back on track, our salute to a legend. This is a really nice car. I like the color on it. I definitely think that he should have kept it this way the entire season for 2006, but he chose not to. Well, he only did it for one day. It was at the Aaron's 499 at Talladega. He did not win the race, unfortunately. He he crashed, which really sucked, and I think he blew his engine. Yeah, if he just would have kept it this color, I think this would have been really awesome. The um, hood opens. The trunk does not. I got this on eBay. This is actually a pretty good car. This one is one of 3,333. Yeah, so they probably didn't make very many of these, you know, that don't have the trunk that opens. I paid about $80 for this. Yeah. Well, that's the reason why, because it's one of 3,000 made. But I really wanted to get, like, one that has the hood and trunk that opens. But here is the one that I do have. I got this at a flea market. It's just the same way it is. Hood opens and roof flaps and the trunk does. So this one is not rare or anything. This one is one of 7,000 made. Yeah, and like I said, I just really like the way that they designed it. And I definitely think that it's beautiful. It definitely was a, I think, the appropriate color for Dale Earnhardt Jr. to color his car the entire time, just instead of red. But, you know, it's his choice, but I think that this definitely was a was a proper color for him, you know. And also, he did race in, like, the 2010 Daytona race, which was like a, a Budweiser shootout or duel, which he raced in his dad's number three, number, uh, number three Wrangler Chevrolet, which I don't have, unfortunately. Sorry about that. But let's move on to the last ones that I had from the Sprint Cup days from 2008. Here's Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s National Guard, um, Amps car, excuse me, the Amp Energy car. The, um, the hood opens, has roof flaps, trunk does not, but it's missing the thing, the thing that goes on the back of here, this thing, which really sucks, because I dropped it on the floor and it fell off. Yeah, which really is a waste, you know. It's still a nice car, though. I like the color of it. With National Guard, Amp Energy, and Mountain Dew. And this one I don't believe is I don't believe it's rare. Total production is 136,540. Yeah. It's still a nice car though, and there you see my cat Sunshine laying over there. Yep, good kitty. She's the only one that usually joins me if I don't have any Skype yes, you know. <laughs> And here's the last one. Here is the National Guard car, which I accidentally called that one over there. And here's the thing that has it on it. Yeah, these things lasted on NASCAR cars for about two or three seasons. I want to say two, actually. It's a really nice design on it. Uh, has roof flaps and the hood opens. Just have to turn upside down. Well, it does open, but it's not going to open right now. And, um, and actually, this is actually, this is actually a pretty rare car. It's one of, come on, focus. There we go. One of 1,888. Yeah, it's a salute to the troops one as well, as you can see, where the box is with him on the front and the troops. Yeah, I know I purchased this at a flea market one time. But there you go. That is the way the car is. Yeah, pretty nice. That's all I can say. But there you go. 
So, folks, that is my Dale Earnhardt Jr. NASCAR diecast car collection. Yep, um, I know I don't have as much as Dale Earnhardt Sr., but still, I am a collector of him. But there you go. There's all the cars. So, once again, another look at all of them that I showed you. And I hope you all enjoy these cars. So, please subscribe because it's not a bad thing. It is a good thing. I will see you with more videos. And you guys take care.